If there's one pastime that the people of Sydney just love, it's surfing. And here's a Travel Channel secret. More world champion surfers live on Sydney's northern beaches than anywhere else in the world. The craze was introduced to Australia by Hawaiian surf legend Duke Kahanamoku at Sydney's Freshwater Beach in 1915. We found the board which the Duke hand carved himself from local timber. It's held pride of place in the Freshwater Surf Club ever since. The sport took off and now everybody's gone surfing. Sydney has no fewer than 70 beaches, and over 20 miles of the coast features broad stretches of golden sand. The most famous is Bondi. Every traveler to Sydney wants to go to Bondi for a swim. But did you know you can learn to surf here? They actually have a surf school. I'm Dan. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I had my first surf lesson yesterday. I got up twice, so at least I'm going to get up three times today. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm from Austin, Texas. I've surfed once. I'm Nicole. I'm from New York. I've never been surfing. Hi, I'm Brooke. I'm from San Diego, California, and I played on a surfboard a few times. Nothing serious. Hi, I'm Sasa from Helsinki, Finland. I had my first uh, surf lesson yesterday, and today I'm going to do some uh, cool cuts. Okay, the next way is if the wave is going to break on you, then you've got to try and go through it. The instructors claim most people can learn to ride after one two-hour lesson, and they absolutely guarantee they can teach anyone after three lessons. All right, here we go. It's the wave of the day. Paddle, 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 and jump. Anybody can surf. People with disabilities can surf. Even people who can't walk, we've taken them out on body boards and, and caught waves. So um, everybody can have a go. 